Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, ladies, God got me on this thing with pain this week with us, because so many of us women are going through pain at this very moment. We done been through pain. A lot of us have unforgiveness because of the pain. A lot of us have sickness because of the pain. A lot of us have not let go and release things because of the pain, and God wants you to release. He release all the pain that is going on in the inside of you emotionally. You know, a lot of our pain, ladies, come from the men that we put in our lives and the choices that we make with them. And a lot of us don't want to release the men when we got them in our life because for a lot of reasons, a lot of it is out of fear. You don't want to be alone. You're used to having a man. You've been having boyfriends and men all your life. Even though you've never been married, you always had somebody. And when you come to God... It's nothing that's no different. A lot of us come to him. You may be single. You may be married. You may be in a relationship that really was not ordained by God. You know, I really don't learn that scripture on what God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. A lot of these relationships that us ladies get into, God has not put them together. They're not of the spirit. Some of you are mature enough in God right now at this moment to understand what I'm saying to you. God did not put you with this man. You chose this man out of whatever fear or whatever situation that you decided to take this man out of. Ladies, I want to let you know today, God wants you to stop hurting in these relationships. He wants you to stop being in these dysfunctional relationships that is causing pain to your emotions. With your emotions being in pain, it's bringing a lot of sickness to you ladies' bodies. And God wants to heal you, mind, body, and soul. Your mind is tormented. Your spirit is tormented. You know, your body is just going through all different types of things because of this emotional trauma that's going on in your life at this moment. And God wants you to lean on him, not your own understanding. You know, we think we understand these situations, but we don't. We set ourselves up, ladies, when we get into the relationship with these men. You know, a lot of times you jump from relationship to relationship. I see it all the time. I hear it all the time. I've been there, done that myself. Um, you be in one relationship, you know that relationship is ending. But you're on the hunt looking for somebody else that you can take up with. You know, men do the same thing because they don't want to be alone either. You know, they can talk macho, act macho, but how many of them be without a woman? They got somebody. They may not want to marry you, but they got you. They got somebody they screwing. They got somebody they doing something with. You know, so... Everybody on this earth, most people do not want to be alone. They got somebody they just ain't married to them. But women, back to you. God wants to deliver you out of these situations that he did not ordain for your life. You don't got prophetic words. You don't have visions. You don't have dreams. You know, God been dealing with you. He been talking to you. And you wonder why things ain't manifested in your life. It's because the people that you have in your life. And until you learn how to release this dysfunctional people out of your life, you will always be stuck. You'll be like the children in the wilderness going around, 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 around. Because you won't let go. You won't break the cycle. You know, you steady on this hamster wheel going around and around and around and around. God wants to break that cycle in you today. He wants to break that chain in that cycle and take you on the path that he wants to take you on. Babies, God is ready to birth this stuff in you. Same thing I messaged on a couple of days ago. From your pain to birthing. God is ready to birth. But he also let me know in my spirit. A lot of you do not want to release. You don't want to release. You don't want to break that cycle. And until you decide to break that cycle, you will never go into your purpose and the plans that God has for your life. Babies, this is the meat of the word. This is not the milk. It's time to come off the milk and get on the meat. God loves you. He wants to heal you. You've been crying out. You know, it says wailing women, they cry. Y'all have been wailing and crying out. And this word is just for you. It's just for you. God has heard your cry, women of God. He wants to deliver you from all your troubles. He has heard your cry. He has heard your cry. And he will deliver you from your troubles. But you have to do it his way. You know, you got these men, they was married when you met them. They wasn't even free. They wasn't even available. And you talking about God sent them as your boy is. No, he didn't. It was a trick of the enemy. They don't have jobs. You're taking care of them. They moved in your house. They don't know how to talk to you. They don't know how to act. You know, they're cheating on you. They're bringing you all kinds of diseases. All different types of things is going on in these relationships with these men. But God wants to break that cycle. Aren't you tired? 
Are you tired? You know, you're crying out and you're wailing, but God want to know, are you tired? You know what? When you get tired of anything, nobody don't have to tell you nothing. You're going to do what you got to do. But ladies, today is restoration for your life if you want it. Take heed to this word from God today. He is ready to bless you. He is ready to take you to the next phase of your life. He is ready to transform your mind, your emotions, your heart, your soul. Allow God to do what he wants to do in your life, women of God. Allow him to do what he wants to do in your life. He is ready to bless you now. He's ready. He's ready. You know, and change the way you think and change the way you're speaking because you're keeping yourself in bondage by the way you think and what you're speaking. For the abundance of your heart, your mouth says speak. Change your speech. Change your thoughts. Today is the day of deliverance. I will be coming back to address this topic with men because this is where a lot of our pain comes from. And a lot of it comes from unmet expectations. We have so much expectations of these men. A lot of these men already know who you are to them and what they're going to do to you. They string you along. They tell you what you want to hear. And they drop you like a bad habit when they're done with you. But God will never leave you nor forsake you. He tells you the truth. He speaks the truth to you. He's honest with you and he loves you. Put him first. He's your first husband. And then he'll send you a husband in the flesh that I love you as Christ loved the church. Well, babies, I love you. I tell you, I'm radical about this. It's so much in my spirit today because I feel your pains, my sisters. I feel your pain. I've been there, done that. And it's not a pretty thing. And if you are in pain, God will heal you. This too will pass. Don't beat yourself up. Forgive yourself. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself that you are beautiful because you've been so beat down so much. Talk down to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God just wants you to know that you are beautiful. He just wants you to know that you are loved today. And he's going to wrap his arms around you and be the comforter to you. Woo. God loves you, babies. He loves you. And so do I. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. And I speak deliverance to your mind. Deliverance to your spirit. Deliverance to your heart. Healing. Healing to your heart. Woo. It may have been ripped in two, but God is going to mend that broken heart. That's what he came for. Love you, sugar walkers. Have a wonderful day. Peace unto you.